Michael Hughes here, Michael Hughes Trailing. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Michael Hughes here, Michael Hughes Training. And that is a sample of what I want to talk about today. Noise. In order for teaching and learning to occur, you need a fairly peaceful environment. But you'd be amazed at how many times I have to contend with building work happening, or somebody blowing leaves in the garden, or somebody hoovering the corridor directly outside the training room. It's as if they're thinking, OK, when's Michael coming in? That's when we'll get the, the radiators refitted. <laughs> I know that's not how it works, but sometimes that's how it feels. So what I'm saying is, if you have to have noisy works done, try to schedule those works for times when the training isn't happening. Or schedule the training for times when the works aren't happening. Another thing to look out for is noise generated by residents. So you have a resident next door to the training room and she's deaf, so our television is on very, very loud. Well, take it from me, it's very hard for me to compete with cash in the attic. Or maybe you've got somebody across the corridor and they're shouting. Again, it's hard for me to compete with that. So what I would say with regards to those things is try to address those issues. And if you can't address those issues, have the training occur somewhere else. Move it to a different room, a quieter room. Because I can tell you it's very, very hard to teach when you have somebody shouting and yelling across the corridor or a television or radio two blaring out in the room next door. And that's it. If you want training to work well, there has to be quiet. Quiet for the trainer to speak and be heard and quiet for the staff to learn. My name is Michael Hughes. If you'd like to get in touch, my email address is info at michaelhughestraining.com. In the meantime, please subscribe and check out my other videos. And keep up the good work.